earlier this spring we came across this foal out on the range and she was stuck in some mud you may have seen that video it went viral anyways we did an interview about a month or so later with this other company and they put this video together and that video had gone viral it's almost got seven million views on it so i'm gonna repost it here you guys can check it out again it is one of the most heartwarming sweetest stories aside from all these little cuties um yeah check it out I originally was just checking fence and these feral horses usually when they see you they run off and these two didn't actually it was the polar opposite it was like they were calling to me up and as we got closer that's when we realized that there was a foal in the mud that's where the action really started and you could tell right away that it's been in there for a while you can see the different layers of mud caked and dried on it so you could tell that it's been trying to get out he looked pretty tired, pretty worn out. I think he's been in there struggling and the harder the fight, the deeper he got. When you see a little fool like that stuck, you want to get down there and help. There's no way he could leave a baby like that. So we had to split up so that one of us, that was me, I'd go stand up top and watch to make sure she wasn't coming back because she was charging at us to stay away from the foal. She was doing a really great job. You don't often see mares protect that hard. It was about three or four times of me going down in that hole and, and trying to grab her before the mare came down. And then at the same time, trying not to push that mare off so she doesn't run off. She was a very good mare. She came back, she was very protective. Once the <clears throat> filly was out of the mud, it was really weak, it could hardly walk try to push her to get her to walk and then I realized she couldn't and then finally I just picked her up. When I placed her down you can tell right away I started rubbing her up and down her back so what I was doing was trying to promote circulation back in her body to get energy back into him. We did leave to give the mom some time to stay with her and check her over and when we got back up there she still kind of was by the big tree and roots. We had realized we probably shouldn't have left her there. We should have left her a bit more in the open. We had realized kind of how weak she was. It kept getting stuck on roots and branches and was kept tripping itself and making it fall back onto the ground. We really wanted to get the fold to get that energy and life back into it and standing and walking again so that when the mom came back down to grab it that she was ready to get up and go with her. So we gave her some electrolytes. Probably the seventh or eighth time she come charging down my way. You could see me slowly climb up the tree and then you just can't see me at all. But she stood right above me and she let me know who she was. Like if I was a bear, if I was a wild mountain lion, she would have came at me. What we were wanting to do is make sure she was going to get up and that she had the strength and the energy to get up so that she would follow along with the mom. The mare was kind of on the upper bench, less than 100 feet away. And once we were able to get her out in the open and, and backed away, she came charging in through the gully and up the hill and, and kind of swoops right in to grab her baby. It was the mare and stallion. The mare was yeah. the white horse and stallion was the black one. So yeah. it was mom and dad to the rescue there. I mean, it was a great feeling. It was really rewarding to see the mom come back and pick up the baby like that. She was doing a really